Hello and welcome back to the realm. Uh, nice to see you all again in today's episode. We are going to be building the thumbnail. <laughs> That's a given type of thing. Uh, we will also be getting into a little bit of lore today. That's it. My first crack at some lore. Uh, which should be interesting and I'll be updating you on what's been happening on the server in general and uh, what's been happening with the general area. So uh, yeah, let's uh, sit back, relax and let's get into this. Eh? So first off the bat, we've uh, done a bit of work around this area, which is just behind the storage unit. I have placed leaf blocks across this area, but uh, Flame didn't like it, so I had to take them down. Boo! And we also have a bridge area, and the bridge area takes us to our new trading hall. That's right. We have the villager section, and then we have a trading hall, which is, which will be basically a place where we are, where we have all of our top-notch villagers. And let's have a look to see who we have uh, carted over so far. So, I'm super paranoid about zombies and stuff breaking down doors, so that's the right reason why it's kind of like blocked off most of the time. But let's have a look who we have here. So we have Mr. Mr. Silky Bot, it's the Silk Twitch for 12 emeralds, quite nice. Then we have Mr. Fortune 3 guy yeah, for 24 emeralds, a bit expensive, so you might be facing the old zombification soon. And then we got Mr. Mending uh, for 14 emeralds, super cheap that is, 14 emeralds for Mending. And we should have uh, an unbreaking villager, but he's not been brought over as yet. And these are some of our emerald guys. Um, but we have an armorer, which we're going to try to level up as much as possible. And we have a Tussmith along here, which we're also going to get up as much as possible. We've got our diamond tools, which is going to be super cool. This is our master armorer, who is basically last position two thorns, one unbreaking two. Lovely, a bit expensive, so he may be facing the zombification as well to get that price down a little bit. And we have the diamond boots as well, which is uh, still a little bit on the steep side. 19 animals, so zombification probably for you as well. And finally, we do have. Our weapon smith who sell who will be selling a big nice extras as well. So lots of leveling up to do. I'm not doing the villagers all in one go, I'm doing them when when I basically need them. Um because villager breeding and leveling up is a laborious task and it's not particularly fun. So I'm just doing it a bit at a time to be honest. This is kind of like it will be a, like a holding area. And the obviously the, all this area has to be you know, it needs a full garden and it also needs greenery around the area as well. This is going to be an, a holding area for our villagers, so they'll be coming across here, and the holding areas inside here. And this is also an area where we will be holding the resources, so uh, you know, sticks and whatnots and flint and all that type of stuff. Um, so that's going to be really, really cool. Yeah! Um, back to the original point, yeah, I, um, I usually like to bring out video every three days. We alternate between Vintage Story, the server, and our uh, our server here that we've got here. A little bit of an, uh, an update on the old server. We do have a couple of new members. I'm not going to say who they are. I've got two new members on the server. Uh, Wizardcraft is having a few issues, which you're going to have to ask Wizardcraft about that. He's having a few issues with, with his account and stuff. So you have to ask, you'll have to ask Wizardcraft about that in his in his videos that he's bringing out. You know, when's he going to bring out a realm video? Um, but our new two members, I want to give them a little bit of space, a little bit of time to basically figure out what they want to do, um, how they want to progress and stuff, and then obviously when they're ready, they will they will let you know um, where they're building or if they're not building, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that at this moment in time. Now, if there is anybody that you can think of that I may know, because my memory is not exactly the best in the world, oh, can I show you that over area over there? You see that corner over there? Doesn't have a lot of thumbnail. Part of the thumbnail, yeah. You can see, you'll be seeing that in a minute. I think you have to wait for that one. But yeah, if you, if if there's anybody that you think I might know that might be a good addition to the server, yeah, just drop them, just drop them in and stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll have a look at them and see if uh, see if I do know for one thing. It's strange. It's strange when you make content. Um, how many people you get to know and stuff? It's weird. I know most of the fix it crew. You know, I know most of the uh, happy other people. <laughs> I even talked to um, a, a 
Craig, uh, Craig, Craig, I said, <laughs> oh, no. this is quite interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah, but when, yeah, it's, it's just strange. Minecraft is, uh, when it comes to content creation, believe it or not, it's a very small community. Um, it's strange how fast we get to know people just from talking. It's just you're not seeking out to chat with or anything like that. You just kind of like stumble across people. It's like, hey, you're such and such and such a person. And stuff. It's, it's weird. So we just start off to have conversations with people. And Minecraft is a weird, it's a weird type of um, YouTube game. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun type of YouTube game. I suppose Minecraft and Vintage Story, they're both like of the same ilk type of thing. But yeah, um... That is uh, pretty much basically a little bit of an update on the server. We've been villagerizing and we've basically been building a new little session. Obviously this, with Flame placing the build over here, this is pretty much gives me carte blanche that this area is now opened up and I can uh, have my merry way with some builds. I'm now in this section, I'm going to be moving more away from the standard villager setup which we have here all the all the little village houses which are all uh, rather this rather similar and rather the same and that's the aim i was going for that's the kind of vision i was going for i wanted everything very 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 similar but yeah um so uh so you've all clicked on the thumbnail <laughs> i'm guessing you want to see the build and the lore uh don't be too harsh. This is my first attempt at law, me writing law. So, don't be too harsh on me. Don't don't, don't be too rough. And uh, also, don't be too rough on the, on the narrator because it's not me. Um, yeah, guys, uh, I will be uh, looking with interest at your comments about the law. And uh, yeah, so over oh, over to the uh, build and the law section, I suppose. See you all in a second. Here is Tarjan. Tarjan used to be a simple man with a fantastic past. That, however, is for another day. Feels like eons ago when Tarjan stumbled upon this village. In the whole scheme of things, when it comes to the whole craziness of the universe, it was only yesterday. Tarjan was more than capable of turning his hand to anything. He had to. Tarjan would always say, he wasn't born here. He would merely just say, he arrived here. Tarjan's first job at the village was a simple barn, and definitely won't be his last. Thank you. 
tales, adventures and discoveries await. Today was a simple barn by the one and the only Mr. Tarjan Freck. Tomorrow, who knows? So what do we think? I think it looks rather pretty. Um, I'm really happy with how the barn actually came out to be honest. It's uh, everything I kind of want. It's just really, really nice finish to it all. And uh, yes, the greeny me sure does help. And obviously, you watch the little time lapse and if anyone wants to, if anyone wants to follow along on basically how to build it, just slow it down and pause every so often. It's, um, I love how the roof looks. It's best if everything is literally how I wanted it, and especially with the convenience. Uh, we are going to be expanding out this area. The barn is only the first step. There's going to be multiple areas for our little lore champion. <laughs> and it, I think he's going to be covering more to so this section around here. And obviously, the wheat fields and the carrot fields and the potato fields also needs to be also needs to be expanded out as well um, because I want all this area which is quite good all this area is going to be wheat but I want it to keep on carrying on down to this section and I do have around about three stacks of seeds but you'd be surprised how fast that actually goes uh, three stacks of seeds probably won't cover much of an area at all but I want, and I'm going to kind of basically get more of this area seeded out and producing wheat as well and uh, yeah, I wanna, and then I want to start to basically make a little bit of. I want to break it up. I don't. I don't want just one giant wheat field. If you follow what I'm trying to say, I, I, I wanted to have you know breaks and maybe hay bales inside this as well. And yeah, uh, we're going to be uh, building up this area. And this, this is the mud farm. Uh, it really, really needs a bit of TLC on the outside. I need to really put some. Um, some leaf blocks outside of it. I've been doing a ton of different jobs and we've had a few issues on the server as well. I don't know if you've been watching kids' video. Kids' video is going to be out for his second video. His first video did really well. Um, really enjoyed Since it seems like his uh, his um, his audience really enjoyed the realm and stuff and I've been hanging out with kids multiple times. We still haven't been able to schedule a time to record together. It is what it is, but this is how this realm works and stuff. You can treat it as a single player world, but you can also treat it as a um, a collab world. And, and one day when our worlds have got, our little kingdoms have grown to a certain size, I'm hoping to um, join up by a whole roadway network. And that's the whole idea of this, when each creator joins this world and wants to build their own kingdom, I want to eventually set it up with Broad networks to each kingdom, uh, for them to tell their own story, their own tale. Um, whether the, um, you know, I, 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 I'm just hoping basically uh, it keeps on cracking along at a decent pace because I'm really enjoying playing in this world. Uh, I'm really enjoying the builds that I'm doing, and we've got some massive builds coming up as well. Some huge builds. Um, I've been having a chat with my buddy again, uh, Fixit412, uh, giving us some tidbits about castle building as he is the castle king. Um, and he's like referenced a few videos that I might want to check out that'll help me out a little bit. Because um, my castle building, it was, it was quite good back in the day, but uh, to say I'm rusty, <laughs> rusty. Uh, to say I'm rusty is, a, is, a, is an understatement. But yeah, um, you know, a few trials and tribulations in the server. Mm, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go into that. <laughs> That's just uh, basically Moyang. Sort out your stuff when it comes to Bedrock. That's all I'm saying. I'm not criticising. I'm not criticising Moyang. I'm just saying, sort your stuff out. 
That's, that's all I'm saying. Nothing more than that. <laughs> but yeah, um, hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'm going to go back over to this area. This is one of my favourite areas to hang out in now because I just really like the build. Uh, and yeah, I know the roof looks unusual and it's not what probably not, 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 not what everyone would have built and stuff. But I love how this finished off. It just looks so, so nice. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for me for today. Let me know your feelings and thoughts on the law and the build and everything else and how your day is going and how your week's going. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff that people ask for. Uh, I always, I, I, the comments, I always like reading the comments. The comments are great. I like, I like interacting with everybody. But yeah, uh, that's it for me for today. Bye, bye for now. Bye.